TitleMatchNetwork.com. The sex scandal with uh, with WWF. Yeah. And the homosexuality and all yeah. that. No one cared. No. It's like, what would happen if the word got out in the record industry as someone smoked dope? Huh. I mean, it's just another story, another thing. You didn't care about it. Right. All, all everybody wanted to do was go home. All they wanted to do was get their checks and go home. They were so tired of traveling. Every building looked the same. Every airport looked the same. You'd work 10 days, you were off three. You'd work four, you were off three, you worked 10. Now, I didn't because some of those days, I had three days off. I had to go to Baltimore and do prime time. Right, right. Or some guys would have to do personal appearances. So you didn't always get that time off. Did you ever do TNT? The show TNT really? Oh, yeah. Okay. With Vince. Uh, Nightheart had uh, 80 some days one time in a row he worked. And uh, I worked in Georgia for the NWA in 79 from February 2nd until Thanksgiving without a day off. How do you cope? You drove. You knew either house till 3 or 4 in the afternoon, so you always had the mornings at home. Right, right. And you were making money. And other than that, what are you going to do? Did you ever work with Jim Barnett? Yeah. Worked for him in uh, 79 in Georgia, and I worked for him in, uh, when I went back to WCW, whoever ran it then. My boy. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> No, to, to Jim Barnett, I had to rip my shirt off and pretend I was a lumberjack. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Um, now, when he was a kid, where do you think the pacifier went? <laughs> <laughs> Just think about it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just guessing. <laughs> was it she? Yeah. Oh, he was my first friend in the business. In 1961, in Indianapolis, I was carrying jackets and uh, setting the ring up. He'd give me his keys, and I'd go sit in his car. He had one of those double-door Lincolns, like uh, right. Kennedy was killed in. And uh, I would go out and sit in his car, and he'd come out and give me five bucks. And uh, talk to me. He didn't talk to anybody. And would always give me, a, sometimes if I, he was late and was on last, He'd give me a ride to the bus stop so I could catch the bus home so I didn't have to hitchhike home. No, uh, Sheik was okay with me. Whatever happened to his promotion? Because it seemed like it was huge and then it just... Well, anybody only had, anybody has a 20-year run. Ghani had a 20-year run. Uh, everybody does. You just run out of ideas and run out of talent. And you, you can't do the same disqualifications and the fire and blood every night. Right. For 20 years, it gets old. Oh, I liked Fritz. He was a good. I liked. I knew Fritz in the sixties. Uh, tragic, tragic story with his family and all the kids. And um, I didn't know David. I didn't. I met Kevin one time. Uh, I didn't know the other two boys. I just knew Kerry from right. WWF, and I knew Jack uh, Fritz from uh, the old days. And he was always a nice guy. TitleMatchNetwork.com.